So in this movie I want to explain something about automation and presets in AltaVerb. For that I open up this session. I have a little movie here, an AltaVerb demo movie. And this dry guitar player, our friend Pierre Ben Suzanne. And I want to put Pierre in these rooms that you see in the movie. So Reset, and I'll insert an AltaVerb for that. And I'll make sure that all parameters are in automation. This is not a necessary step in most ha host applications, but uh, in Pro Tools you must do this. And I'll look at one of these parameters in particular, which is IR automation. IR stands for impulse response, and it's the actual room. Now. Automation of the impulse response and all other parameters is, of course, simply a matter of playing and switching. And you'll see the red line there. That's, um, that's the actual IR automation. And you see that AltaVerb tracks nicely automation. Okay. But I want to do it in another way. Pro Tools has this trick where I can uh, suspend automation for a little bit and just listen at my clip from uh, room one, which is the Zuylen Etic. I'll type Etic in the AltaVerb browser. This is the one, I'll select it, select my clip, and I'll just dial in the sound that I need. A bit of dry I need. So there it is, I like the sound and I go to automation, right to all enabled. Now it has written Impulse response automation for the entire length of the clip. Second clip, LA Hall. Bit more dry. Yep, I like it. So again, right to all enabled. Third clip, this is um, SARM Hookend Studios, the place of Trevor Horn. Look it up in the browser. There it is. A little less dry and then right wall enabled. And this is a way that I can go through my entire movie. Okay. You'll see it tracks nicely again. Okay, I wanna show you another way how to automate AltaVerb, the old fashioned way. Call it the AltaVerb 6 way. I'll remove my AltaVerb for that so that um, I will lose all my automation data so far. There's a fresh AltaVerb. I'll have to uh, reselect all the parameters and put them in automation. And then I'll switch to the snapshot window of AltaVerb. There are 40 empty snapshots here and they can contain entire presets that we can switch via automation. So let me make uh, a few of these presets quickly here. The Attic I believe it had about this amount of dry in it, so I'll store it in snapshot 1 just by clicking on it. And then the LA Hall, this one, a bit more dry, put it in 2, and then there was uh, Hookend Studios, the brick room, some more wet, and that I store in number 3. So, I look at one parameter in particular, which is automation preset index, which is actually the number of these snapshot slots over there. Now you'll see the snapshot line appear in the automation preset index parameter curve and it tracks nicely. Look at the snapshot in the AltaVerb interface. Right there. Now if I insert an other AltaVerb, a second one, you will see that none of the snapshots that I just saved are in there. That's because they're local to one AltaVerb and I can get them out via copying the settings from one to the other or by saving a preset. So when I save a preset, give it a meaningful name like BBBBB, 
and um, I'll recall it over here. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, it's, I saved it in the sessions settings folder. So there it is, BBB. And now my uh, snapshots appear. So snapshots are actually part of a preset that I save in Pro Tools. Which is not true for the Altiverb factory presets. The Altiverb factory presets do not seem to replace the snapshots. And this is correct. Altiverb factory presets do not contain snapshots and do not wipe them out when you select them. Which brings me to another feature um, closely related to presets and impulse responses. If I like a room, like uh, this one, I can click the heart icon behind it. I do it for a number of rooms. And then they appear in the favorite section of the browser right here. So that concludes presets and automation in Altiverb 7. Thank you.